Well, I think it's real interesting. 1887, some of the uh, Indians, Lakota predominantly, that went across the ocean, they were afraid they were all going to die. And if certainly when they uh, got seasick, some of them kind of thought maybe that would have been preferable or they thought they were dying. But they finally get there, and I think the first thing that they realize is how many people they were. They were starting to realize how many people were in the eastern United States, and when they went to Europe and realized how many more. And this is actually one of the cells that used the Buffalo Bill used to uh, tell the government why he was taking them over. And that is, when they realized how huge and overwhelming European culture or American culture is, they're not going to want to fight anymore. They're going to decide, okay, we got to find a way to compromise with these folks. Once that hurdle is jumped over, I think then uh, you had folks like Sam Lone Bear, particularly Luther Standing Bear, uh, who were fascinated by the European culture. And Standing Bear said, you know, after we left London, I, had, I was regretting leaving it because I was really enjoying all of the sights. And then I have another picture in the book of, of, of Lakota. Now this is again after 1902, actually doing some sightseeing in Cornwall. And at the same time, they're pointing, looking at the sites, and the Europeans are, the Corn, Cornish people are pointing, looking at them. It's an equal uh, kind of fascination with each other. And I think that's pretty cool. The Indians were having a great time. The Lakota, a lot of them, were really enjoying being in Europe. And to the degree that they kept going back when they could. And my favorite one of the Ushkate Wichasa, Ushkate Wichasa, were the, the one who performs, the Lakota name for them. Sam Lone Bear, he, he goes to Europe nine times. He learns German and French. Now he's not fluent in it, but he knows well enough to survive with it and knows a little bit. And he goes back nine times. By 1935, his ninth time. Then he goes back to the United States, and he's writing to people he knows who are European uh, in Nebraska who had settled there, and one woman in particular. He exchanges correspondence with her, and he says, I wish I was back in Europe. I really miss the Germans. I love the Germans. He says, things are tough here on the reservation. The insects eat all our crops. I'd rather be in Germany. But... Um, there's a fascination that they have, those that, that travel there, with the Europeans.